Hi, this is Brian, and this is David with 360 Immersive. Thank you for joining us where you can learn everything that's newest, greatest, and most excitingest about virtual reality, augmented reality, and how we're using it for training and education. So today we're gonna to learn a little bit about the Oculus Go and what an amazing tool it is for bringing virtual reality training into your classroom. So David, what were our options prior to the release of the Go? So initially when virtual reality first became a thing that was widely available, people used to have cardboard. I mean, they they fold them up like a uh, you know it was a box. It was like an origami. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pizza and then box. and then you'd put your phone in it, and it was great to get people into VR because of the fact that it was they gave them away at trade shows. You could buy them for ten or fifteen dollars, and suddenly you had something that you could experience VR. And then after a while, people came up with. Things like this, which is a great headset for the money. It's about $25 or $30. It's got a little button here. You, you take your phone after loading the app. But you've got all these adjustments, you know, and it's, you got to get it all set. You've got to keep the, the goggle in the classroom. You've got to keep the goggle paired with the phone. And it's, it's a little bit still a pain in the backside. But six months ago, Oculus came up with the Oculus Go. And the Oculus Go is what's called an all-in-one device. Now what does that mean? It basically means is that there's no phone. That all the electronics, the, the display mechanisms, how you create that VR experience is built right in. In fact, more so, it's optimized for VR. Where your phone is a good device. but yeah, it's good at being a phone, it's good at sending texts, it's good at if it's sending virtual reality images if you have it in your cardboard device. But imagine taking a device like this and it, its sole purpose is to create great VR. Plus it's got, you know, you look like, well there's some straps here. But guess what? There's great spatial audio built into these straps and so that you have the ability to experience audio by just putting it on. So, but that must cost a lot, right? Well, actually, if you look at taking this device, and if you had to go out and buy maybe a refurbished iPhone 6 or Samsung Galaxy X6, which we kind of recommend as the minimum if you're going to buy a phone, uh, that's about $250. Oh, and then you're also worried about, did they all charge their batteries when right. they left the house this morning? Are they updated? Um, are they going to be getting 30, 40 notifications when they're using it and all those other sorts of a issues? Absolutely. And then if you look at it, these are $199. So it's better equipment, a better ex experience, less money. And it's, uh, it's simple to use. Plus you have the advent of, it comes with a controller so that you can do more things with it depending on the application that you're experiencing in that VR environment. We can, we, we can sense rotation within that controller. So if somebody's interested in VR, they're interested in understanding that VR experience for training, for education, the Oculus Go is hands down the way to go if you're looking for an inexpensive method to either try it or to populate a whole classroom. Fantastic. So this is going to be a good go-to tool for anyone that wants to take VR and bring it into their classroom and get going. Absolutely. All right. Well, David, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This has been 360 Immersive. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them below, and we'll see you next time.